Hello, this is Bob Mangrum. I often hear of people wanting to, quote, find themselves. And then they enter a restless search to making that happen. They travel all around the world with a backpack, or they might go from one spiritual retreat to another, or one form of pilgrimage to another, and try different activities to find themselves. And yet they remain just as lost as when they began. The reason that many become so eluded is because they are looking in the wrong places. Why are you looking for something you already have? You don't need to go anywhere to find self. Self is with you all the time and in every place. Certainly there are places that people can go like a spiritual retreat, personal growth seminars, therapy work, religious organizations, etc. And these can help you to understand about yourself but true self-knowing is to know the essence of who you are. Who you are is spirit, and it's not about what you do or don't do, or the things you like or don't like. That's just the ego personality disguising itself. There's no need to do all this extensive search and severe rituals or extensive prayers to find your spiritual self. You are with you wherever you go. Extensive searching leads nowhere because your divine nature is not a destination and not a journey. Stop looking for yourself outside yourself. This is as crazy as a man looking for his bicycle and he's riding it. When people say they want to find themselves, I think what they're really saying is, I want to figure out what to do with my life. Or they're trying to discover what they enjoy in life. And there's a big difference between knowing yourself and knowing about yourself. The things that create personal enjoyment will come from something outside of you. That could be a person, an activity, a vacation, sports, hobby, etc. This type of information, however, reveals only to you the things you know you enjoy. So you then mistakenly assume, I know myself. I like to swim, I like pizza, I like horses, I'm punctual, and I like to read. This type of knowledge is only understanding about the conditioned you, and not the unconditioned you. To truly know self and your connection to the universe is a far higher form of realization that no one and nothing from the outside can answer for you. This knowing must spring spontaneously from within. When you grasp the difference, then you will see that there is impressively more to your existence and your views of life will become clearer. To quote, know yourself, is to finally shake hands with your own soul. It is the recognition of, I am, and that there is a part of you that is outside the phenomena of physical experience that there's a component of you called awareness. And awareness itself is never and cannot be affected by anything you experience, whether good or bad. And the recognition of that awareness is who you are. It is the primal source thought. It is your first thought, I am. The recognition of I am is prior to anything your mind could possibly think of. And once you discover this, you realize that you are eternal, unbounded, and pure energy. But you also realize that no description can describe the source of I am. The source of awareness because all descriptions come from that which you are trying to describe. So that which you are remains silent, still, pure, loving, and unbounded. So how can you realize that which I speak of? By simply meditating on the thought, I am, or I exist, and that's all. Keep it simple, just contemplate or meditate on the essence of those statements. Don't look for answers and don't analyze anything. Just feel what it means to say, I am, or I exist. Thank you.